becoming very, very clear to Americans and New Yorkers. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist attack. First at six, we're continuing to follow that car explosion at the Rainbow Bridge near the U.S. and Canadian border. As you just heard, New York Governor Kathy Hochul is confirming the explosion at the Rainbow Bridge was not a terrorist attack. Investigators say that two people inside that vehicle that crashed are both dead. We're also seeing some new video of the crash just released by the Border Patrol. The car was said to be traveling at a high rate of speed when it hit a structure, caught fire, and exploded. One of the victims appears to be a person from western New York. There is no sign of terrorist activity with respect to this crash. We've identified that this is a local individual, a western New Yorker. Two individuals died in the the vehicle, the Border Patrol individual working in the booth was injured. The booth literally protected that individual. They went to the hospital with minor injuries and have been released. Officials say the Rainbow Bridge will remain closed as police continue to investigate. As we learn more about this developing situation, we will keep you updated.